thinking of buying a DNA testing kit, you may find out more than you bargained for. The secrets they can reveal can leave you traumatized and even split families. Way 31's Marie Waxel explores the hidden dangers of DNA testing. Let me start by saying that my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, <laughs> she was a, a colorful character who lived a very exciting life. <laughs> Like many of us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cheryl Town wanted to know about her family history. You hear stories about where they came from and who they were and what kind of people they were, but I never had the opportunity to meet any of them. So, um, and then just overall the curiosity of like, who am I? Luckily for her, these days there are a number of resources and testing kits on the market to help you explore. So, she submitted a DNA sample through one of the many websites out there. But her results revealed far more than she expected. I had called my mom and I said, well, who's this person? And she said, oh, well, that's, that's my half-brother um, that your grandma had given up for adoption. And I was like, okay, that makes sense, you know. She found two uncles she never met and a woman who shared a strong connection. I had asked her, I said, well, who's this person? She says, I have no idea. That unfamiliar branch in her tree then reached out to her. And after a few conversations, they made the connection. Well, you're, you're talking about it's coming clear. So what is coming clear? That um, my, the, my father was not actually my father. And that uh, broke my heart, <laughs> you know, because the, this is my whole life, everything that I knew. Family life as she knew it shattered in an instant replaced with fear. Just the rejection, um, the, the stigma, obviously. Nobody really wants to talk about this kind of stuff. The discovery just as jolting to her mother. I can't speak for her. Um, I think shock because she also didn't know. So I guess you know, whatever. I wasn't there, <laughs> so, and uh, people ask me all the time, are you angry? I'm not angry. I'm not. Why? <laughs> it won't, get, won't do you any good, so. Once they have your DNA, the genie's out of the bottle. The exposure of family scandals are nothing new to legal expert Ted Claypool. In fact, he frequently blogs and has even co-authored a book on this very subject. For example, if you find out that your grandfather is not really your biological grandfather, and that grandma was playing the field, um, it's going to make for a very awkward Thanksgiving. Sharing your DNA doesn't stop at the risk of unearthing family secrets. These folks can take your DNA and do anything they want with it. Which means, yes, your DNA can potentially be sold for profit. It's the side of the business he says these companies don't want to talk about. The company you give your DNA to may go bankrupt and sell all the DNA to somebody else. They may get bought by somebody. So it may not be the people that you think you're dealing with. It's already there and it's collected in a database. Databases that can be accessed by law enforcement. So, you know, even if you're not doing anything wrong, you may be putting members of your family at risk um, because they can be traced through you. Despite the privacy statements and disclosures offered by these companies, your DNA is still out there, and we may never know if, when, or how it'll be used next. It is a truly private um, part of you. Putting us in a DNA dilemma. I'm not even saying you should not do it. I, I say you should go talk to your doctor first. Um, your doctor has the ability to, to run the exact same tests, to tell you the exact same things, and everything's protected and private if you do it through your doctor. It's just all so bittersweet. Cheryl eventually connected with her biological father. I needed him to know that I didn't want anything from him, um, just to know who he is um, and that I was here. And this doesn't take anything away from the man who raised you? Absolutely not. No, it does not. Would you do it again? Um, <laughs> yes, yes I would. What can you say to other people who may consider this. Don't ever ask a question that you are not prepared to receive the answer for. Marie Waxel, Wade 31 News.